Hello folks. Hey, happy new year. I'm out, out and about just to going to go pick up a pizza. Too lazy to cook. So I'll start off the new year just by getting a pizza. To all my subscribers, thank you so much for um, joining my, um, my channel. Thank you for liking my, um, my views. I know most of the people that follow me are from our reborn doll collectors are starting off as such, even though I, I talk about other things. I talk about products I use. I talk about other issues. I have a lot of things I need to catch up on um, during the last crazy chaos of 2021 and talk about that as well as um, I want to address some things, um, especially to um, those in the doll community. Um, I notice um, people have been coming under a lot of scrutiny and hate in the reborn community. Um, YouTuber Spring Flower and also um, Jules Loves Dolls and, and a few other people who have um, a pretty big platform either that buy um, copied versions of dolls or are friends with people that buy copy versions of dolls and that sort of stuff. And my, my, my take on it is I already did a video last year in regards to that. My thing is we can respectfully agree and disagree without tearing somebody down. Forming these so-called witch hunts on YouTube or on social media to either shame people, to either banish people, or whatever, for whatever reason, to me is very cowardly. To me is very out of pocket and out of your place to do that to someone. That's fine. If you are a reborn doll collector and you are against people that buy copies or knockoffs, cool. You have a right to your opinion. You don't have a right to bully somebody. You don't have a right to shame somebody. You don't have a right to, you don't have a right to do any of that to anybody. No bullying of any kind on my page is going to be tolerated. It's not going to be tolerated on the show at all. You don't bully somebody. If you don't like what someone's doing, just turn your eye away. But you feel the need to go out here and be extra and chastise people. And it's wrong. It shows poor character. And it's just flat out child -like. Um, I saw Jules Loves Dolls, um, video when she decided, you know, she's not going to be a part of the reborn community anymore. And I, I respect her choice. It seems like anytime you're a part of a community, whether it's the reborn community, whether it's the action, the anime community or whatever community where you share common interests, the hobby likes of people, you're going to have some form of toxicity or a dark side where if you don't do things the way they do things and people in your community, you're automatically shamed, shunned, and no one should have to go through that. No one should have to do that. This reminds me of when I was in college, when I joined a group on campus called Action Anime, because I liked anime a lot back then. And the group was so divisive because, oh, if you like this kind of anime, you weren't this cool, you weren't that, if you watch this type of anime. And my thing is, anime is anime. But this is how it is when you're a part of communities and groups. And sometimes you just have to do things on your own stream. Do things because that's what you want to do. Do things because that's what you like. Not necessarily to be a part of a community. And I'm not saying that's what Springflower was trying to do. Or that's what Jules Loves Doll or anybody else out here who has been attacked by these doll Karens for what they do. I'm not saying that's it. Sometimes you just got to do what you have to do. Do what you like, what makes you happy, what makes you smile. You just be a doll collector. If you want to collect all sorts of dolls, um, if you want to collect cars, um, action figures, whatever, you do that because that's what you want to do. Don't worry about what a community thinks, what they believe, what they have to say. People will always have their opinions regardless, and you just have to live your life. 
and do what's best for you. But, you know, it's a shame that people do these witch hunts. These are the same people you want to talk about someone having fake action figures, fake reborn dolls, fake things. But these are the same people that have no problem wearing a fake knockoff designer bag, walking around with fake body parts, or supporting people who do things to enhance their body parts, or... You know, you got knockoff everything else, but you're talking about someone having knockoff dolls and how that's hurting the artist. So how do you think you're redeeming the artist by threatening people and, sh and um, shaming people and doing these witch hunts? How do you think that's helping? Like I said, it's too early in the year for negativity. And this is why on my platform that I'm trying to build, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to tell parents who cannot afford reborn dolls of alternatives that you can get for your child or children. I'm out here talking about crystals, spiritual stuff. My channel is about all sorts of stuff. And yes, I'm going to talk about things that are uncomfortable too. Because that's what you, that's what you do. Okay, but absolutely I won't be tolerating any type of bullying of any type from anybody on anything. And like I said, my platform's not big. I haven't got too much hate from the doll community, but I'm pretty sure when my platform grows, that's going to come due to the kind of dolls that I have. I'm still waiting on my Adali doll. Um, hopefully this will be the right doll this time. This can't happen twice. And I'll do a box opening for that. And like I stated, I'm, I'm going to pull back with doll hobby in for a minute. Um, not because of anything. Because I stated I have um, plans I'm trying to meet early this year. And once I get back on my feet, I will resume the doll hobby in like nobody's business. Among other things that I like. Alright, will you folks be safe? Happy New Year. And don't let anybody steal your shine, your thunder, or shame you, or scare you away. All right. Mwah.